well guys I'm here again lots of videos coming out lots of things in the news we need to talk about house resolution 6666 <laughs> okay so they're about to come into your homes if you live in urban underserved communities and make sure you get tested there is a bill currently out that has been in the sen in the House of Representatives and I want to talk to you a little bit about this bill so that you will understand what it means to you okay so basically this is from the 116th Congress 2D session HR 6666 to authorize the security or I'm sorry Secretary of Health and Human Services to award grants to eligible entities to conduct diagnostic testing for COVID-19 and related activities such as contact tracing to see where you've been and to follow up those people that you've been around through mobile health units and as necessary at individuals residences and for other purposes we don't know what other is okay so this is from the House of Representatives. It was put forth on May 1st, 2020. Um, there are a few people that are responsible for this. I'm gonna let you look it up so that you can determine. And it says here, a bill to authorize the Secretary of Health and Human Services to award grants to eligible entities to conduct diagnostic, diagnostic testing as we mentioned and it said be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled that it's the act is cited as COVID-19 testing um, reaching and contacting everyone is called the trace act it says here in general the with regard to the mobile health units, the Secretary of Health and Human Services acting through the Director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention can award grants to eligible entities, and we'll let you know who they are, to conduct diagnostic, te diagnostic testing for COVID-19 to trace and monitor the contacts of infected individuals and to support, to support the quarantine of such contacts through mobile health units meaning if if they a mobile health unit could be the police we don't even know they can drive to your house and make sure you don't leave uh, as necessary testing individuals and providing individuals with services related to testing and quarantine at their at their residences services related to quarantine is possibly military to keep you in your house if you are tested everybody in your house has to be tested we already know these tests are inaccurate that they don't even know what COVID-19 is some people are saying that COVID-19 is really just something they're picking up on their test It's a lot of things that gets picked up by those reagent act, act um, activities or reagents and it's not really what they think it is they don't know what it is they want to um, give a grant recipient under this section use of the funds and supportive activities to hire train compensate and pay the expenses of individuals and to purchase personal protective equipment and other supplies that could be weapons um, the pri priority in selecting grant recipients will be applicants proposing to conduct activities funded under the section in hot spots and medically underserved communities now where do you think that is yeah it's gonna be in the minority communities they're not even gonna go into the higher income communities applicants that agree in hiring individuals to carry out activities funded under this section to hire residents of the area or community where the activities will primarily occur with higher priority among applicants described in this paragraph given the based given based on the percentage of individuals to be hired from such area community so they're going to use your people in your community to come and get you so if you've been telling people your neighbors hey I don't feel good or whatever that neighbor if they need money and they get hired by these people they're going to come to your house okay 
um, distribution and selecting grant recipients. Secretary shall ensure the grants are distributed among urban and rural areas. Um, it says nothing in the section will be construed to supersede any federal privacy or conven confidentiality requirements. Well, they've already said they're targeting certain areas, so that doesn't matter. That's false. Definitions, okay? The term eligible entity means a federally qualified health center, the public health centers, a school-based health clinic, your nurses at your, your schools, a disproportionate share hospital as defined under the applicable state plan under title 19 or title 9 no 19 I'm sorry of the Social Security Act 42 USC 1396 you can find all these numbers and acts on the congressional website an academic medical center yes Howard that would be you your college's medical center a nonprofit organization to include faith-based organizations yes they're coming to your churches an institution of higher learning as defined in section 101 of the higher education act of 1965 okay guess what happened in the 1965 yeah the civil rights movement a high school as defined in section 8101 of the elementary and secondary education act of 1965 any other type of entity that is determined by the secretary to be an eligible entity so the, it'll be up to the discretion to deter, of the secretary to determine who's eligible and the term emergency period has a meaning given to that term in section 1135 G 1 B of the Social Security Act the term hotspot means a geographic location or area where the rate of infection with the virus that causes COVID-19 exceeds the national average. So they've been perpetrating that in the news as being African-Americans and African-American communities and the Church of God in Christ, all of that. The term medically underserved community has the meaning given to that term in Section 799B of the Public Health Act, Service Act, 42 U.S.C. 295P. Now, I did go and pull that up to see okay so what do they consider to be an underserved community and it says under number six the term medically underserved community means an urban or rural area of population that a is eligible for de designation under section 254 e of this title as a health professional shortage area okay so how many African-American neighborhoods have a lot of health professionals, okay? B, is eligible to be served by a migrant health center under Section 254B. That would be Latinos, okay? Um, it says also a community health center under Section 254C of this title, a grantee under Section 254B of this title relating to homeless individuals. Where are the homeless people? They're not in the higher income neighborhoods or a grantee under Section 256 of this title related to residents of public housing. You guys, you guys, C has a shortage of personal health services as determined under criteria issued by the secretary under section 1395XAA2 of this title related to rural health clinics or D is designated by a state governor in consultation with the medical community as a shortage area or medically underserved community. So anywhere your state governor wants to send them, that's where they are coming. So it says here that they want to appropriate funds in the amount of $100 billion, $100 billion for fiscal year 2020 and such sums as may be necessary for each of fiscal year 2021 and any subsequent fiscal year during which the emergency period continues some people say it's already starting in their areas I personally haven't seen it it's up for debate right now I just wanted to make you guys aware of what is going on this is um, not a joke 
<laughs> it really is happening. They're coming to your homes with faulty testing, even if they think you might have it. And then they will do what they feel like they need to do. This is really scary. I feel like they shouldn't do anything until they actually know exactly how to test people and make sure the tests are working. Okay, people, that's what I wanted to let you know. I'm so sorry I had to provide this information to you, but there it goes. Take care. Bye-bye.